Joining us now is the head coach of the Mustangs, Coach Paul Cantabena, joins us high atop Mustang Stadium. Uh, coach, I'll begin with the final minute of regulation. Um, you had the ball leading by one. Can you take me through what you wanted and, and your reaction to the decision to shoot the ball there? Well, I think we got everything we wanted. I think we did a great job with the extra man, and then we were killing the time. And, you know, Ethan just made a poor choice. You know, I mean, he's a young kid. He's a sophomore. He's a tremendous player, and he put us in the position to win the game. He made a mistake. He's going to learn from it. He knew better. I mean, you take those shots. Everybody knows you take those shots in that possession. You better make it. And uh, he didn't, and we didn't want him to shoot it. I was waiting for a time out there. I thought he was going to kind of pull it. wasn't wasn't ready for him to shoot it, but he's a great kid. He's He's crying in there. You know, it's it's a tough way, and he wanted us to win. And so, every, every, as everybody did in our locker room, and uh, we put our position, ourselves in a great position, and unfortunately, uh, you know, mistakes happen. And that's the game of lacrosse, and they capitalized on a little, capitalized it and got there, and the, they made a tough play in the end. You know, he had a ground ball. They made a tough play, and then uh, the kid inside stuck a shot that no, probably nobody's saving. So, you know, it's just what it is. Yeah, I think uh, without a doubt, you know, defensively, you guys played great tonight. Yeah. Uh, you know, I just want to talk a little bit about how the defense kind of rallied around losing two of your best players and uh, really standing strong in front of Sam tonight. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, there are two great defenses out there. Gettysburg has a tremendous defense, as they've shown, and did a great job. And uh, I think our defense, our young bucks, stepping up, doing a really, really good job in there. A lot of new kids playing for the first time, and they showed they can play. They did some really good things. And uh, Sam, you know, he's just getting better. You know, both goalies were outstanding. You know, Brady was great. You know, he had 14, 13 saves, and, and, uh, and Sam had uh, 14 and so and they uh, both made head standing saves you know they were great both were great and uh, but um, you know we just got to keep getting better you know as I told our guys in the locker room you know really proud of them we got to keep got so much better from week one to week two now we got to get better from week two to week three and I think we are I think we know how to play we know what we're doing we, we're getting the shots that we want we're playing the style that we want I think that for us to be successful and uh, you know we just came up a little short I mean we played two great teams you know we played Denison who's excellent we played uh, Gettysburg's excellent you know we played five now we're playing four and then we get, you know, we play four, then we're playing five, and I get to play three. Yep. You know, it's the way it is. You know, you know, we'll be excited. It'll be a great atmosphere, and but you can't, you know, two weeks in a row, no better atmosphere in lacrosse than right here at Mustang, Mustang Beach. It's been fun. Coach, is there a way to define what's the difference? You, you've been you've been in these games. I mean, these are games that were decided in the final seconds both weeks. Is there a way to define what's the difference between being in these games and then how you need to, to finish them moving forward? Well, you got to know. They, they got a lot of guys that have played, you know, one and seven that played a lot of lacrosse for them and 30, and, uh, you know, they got some guys and they, you know, they made a play, you know, but to win these games, you know, you got to be able to, you can't be afraid of the moment. And, uh, you know, you got to make some plays. And we've had a lot of guys that weren't that, but these are young guys. If you look at our roster, we've only had like seven or eight guys that played a lot for us. And we got a lot of new guys and they're good, but they just haven't been in those positions before. When you get put in those positions, you get better and better and better. Ethan hasn't been in that position a lot. And that was really the first time the game kind of was balancing on his stick a little bit. And he kind of thought he thought he had it. You know, we live with we live with him. He's a great kid. We're gonna get better. Should he not have shot? I think we all know what he should have done. But he'll get better, and we're not gonna we're not gonna we're gonna work at it. We're not gonna hold it against him. And he's the reason we were put in position. And we just keep you just keep getting better. You get players to put in that position, you get better and better at it. And uh, you know, two weeks in a row, we've been in two positions to win games, and came up a little short. But I think you know, in the end, you know, we're gonna start getting ours. We got a, we got a high character locker room, kids that want to win. A lot of tears flowing right now, but I think the tears are great. That's what makes you. That's showing that your your kids care and you're getting better, and that's what's great about our locker. Room right now. Coach, I have to apologize. There's a blinding light in the way, so I don't even know who you brought up. It's, it's the sun. It's our same <laughs> Well, I, I figured that might be the one that you would bring up tonight. Coach, I know this was tough, uh, but appreciate you coming up and chatting with us. Best of luck next Saturday at Salisbury. Thank you very much. Yes, Coach Paul Cantabene joining us here in the All Access Post Game Show. And